Hello everybody, it's Simon here from Android Tech Master. In this video I will present you the, um, in my opinion, the 18 the best, one of the best um, Cydia tweaks. So at the beginning I will quick show you how to add all the needed sources to the Cydia and all of the sources you will find in description. So basically before before you want, before you would like to add one of the tweaks which I show, just add all the sources and after that you'll be able to to get all the tweaks which I'm showing you now. Okay, so um, simple as that. If you want to add a source, you probably know that, but some of you just start the story with Dre breaking, so just click on Cydia. Simple as that, wait for Cydia to load. Go to manage sources on the top right corner press edit top left corner press add and simple as that add all the sources which you can find in description of this video simple as that and after you add the address just press add the source okay so let's start so the, the first week which probably most of you know it's byte sms basically when you open it it looks like normal stock SMS app but it's actually different what it does it allows you to I show you from let's say lock screen if you want to compose a quick message just press the volume just press the volume button and click on the on the volume box and you can anywhere you are in game you're watching a video it doesn't matter the, the quick compose message window just pop up and uh, just type the message it doesn't matter what click send and that's it simple as that that your byte sms app it's compatible with ios 7 but it's in beta stage at the moment it's it's fully working because i'm using it and um, no problem at all uh, I'm sure very soon they release the full version of that. So that's the byte SMS as you can see on the icon. That's one of the one of the tweak. The other tweak which I would like to show you, as you can see, my carrier name on the top next to the signal bars. It's not the normal one. I'm using my network provider is O2 UK, and uh, as you can see, I've changed the name, and you can add the, the that's one of the custom icon from uh, emoticons, which you can enable in uh, settings keyboards. Um, it's very simple. That the the tweak is called uh, Carrier Pigeon. So basically, you just install it. You will find the list of the tweaks in description as well one by one as I'm presenting now but after you install just go to settings you will find the list of the tweaks carrier pigeon just activate enabled with switch simple as that and just type the name which you would like to see in your carrier name that's the other tweak um, the other very interesting uh, tweak is switch spring which basically probably most of you um, when I had iOS 6 before and when I did my jailbreak, I used to love the, in SB settings, it was remove background, one of the, one of the toggles. When you basically, when, when you pressed, it closed all the apps from multitasking so you didn't have to swipe one by, up, by one and stuff like that. And it's exactly the same with this one. So the switch spring, what basically allows you to swipe the springboard like that. And you've got option to quit, quit all the apps from multitasking or restart the springboard sometimes if you have to do it as simple as that. So basically when I click quit apps, open multitasking again, it's empty. Simple as that, very nice tweak. The other tweak uh, which I would like to show is called dock shift. Basically dock shift allows you to change the background of your dock. It's like many different ones, you can make it transparent as well. After you install the tweak, you will find it in settings as well. Simple as that, just go to dock shift, like that, enable, and simply choose the color you would like. It's so many different ones, and you can make it transparent as well. That's the other tweak. Okay, so... Um, oh. 
Okie dokie. So that's the other one. And the other tweak is basically called record my screen. That's the tweak which I'm using now. It's very good as you can probably see probably see by quality of this video and sound it's absolutely amazing you just you, you don't have any icon you just have the um, settings as you can see record my screen that's it you got very simple set, setting the activation message I basically activate my screen recorder but double tap on the status bar and that's it in the same way to disable the video records uh, the the only problem with that because you don't have icons and it's still in beta stage after you after you install the tweak you have to go to you have to use iFile to locate the video so you have to go get the iFile you have to go to uh, VE VAR you have to go to mobile documents and you will find your video there simple as that okay so Another tweak is, is basically activator, it's beta stage as well, but, but it's fully compatible with my iOS 704 iPhone 5, as you can see the icon, and simple as that, you can, you can set whatever you want, basically works as the same as an iOS 6, simple as that, basically, you can't see it, but I've got the motion, when I when I shake my device, the device will lock, so I shake it now, you can't see it, but it basically locked, I didn't press the button, I just shake it, so that just to show you, everything works with it. Okay, so another amazing tweak, which basically works with iOS 7, is Barrel, which probably most of you know from iOS 7, Barrel gives you different animation when you swipe the screen, as you can see, the animation is not standard one, I chose this one, and as the tweaks before, just go to settings, you will find the barrel here, and as simple as that, just activate and choose the different animation, simple as that, that was the barrel basically, um, one of the, one of the sources which I provide in the description, you can get the barrel free of charge from it. The original barrel, the paid one, it shows it's not compatible yet, but install feel free. Um, don't be afraid, it, it, it works perfectly without any issues. Okay, so another, another tweak, it's called, um, just give me one sec, clear folders. That's the tweak, which basically when you open the folder, instead of blurred background, the background is clear as you can see in here. That's one of the folder. That's the other one, all of them, basically, transparent background, which, which I quite like it, it looks different. Um, the, other, the other tweak is called Glow Dock. As you can see, my dock, the icons looks like they're a little bit glow. Maybe, they, um, maybe it's not that much visible because I've got the blurred uh, dock, but you can see they they glowed a little bit. Uh, it make make it nicer. If you don't like it, just don't install it. But uh, I think it's quite nice. Okay, so another tweak. It's called Grid Lock 2.0. As you can see, my icons. I've got the gap on the bottom between the folders. You know, I I always like to reorganize my all my icons and stuff like that. And as you can see, I've got the gap. So just to let you know, Grid Lock 2.0 is fully working with iOS 7, iPhone 5, and all the other ones. So don't be afraid of installing, it's just working perfectly. Um, the other tweak is iFile, which which I was telling before, basically that's the File Explorer application which allows you to, um, to go into the root of your iPhone and just, just play with everything, with all the files, system files and stuff like that. Uh, very simple, probably most of you know iFile anyway because it's one of the most popular root explorer. Okay. So another not tweak but a theme is called L M A O with the capital letter. You can find the 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 name in the description of my tweaks, and that basically make all your icon rounded. As you can see, that's the theme. All the icons they look the same, but they just rounded. 
and uh, simple as that you can like i said before one of the sources install all the sources from my description and you will find the the theme in one of the sources and activate with winterboard which is fully working on iOS 7 as well just install normal winterboard just go to search in city and install winterboard and after that just go to select themes and you will find as you can see l m a o and after you tick just simple respring the the springboard and that's it it will it will be fully working so yeah the winter board is another tweak which i would like to present you as you can see it's fully working because i activate the theme with it and no problem at all that's the only theme at the moment which is compatible with winter board but i'm sure in the future there will be many more okay so um another amazing tweak which i would like to present you is the unlimited tones probably most of you know that it's many advertised inside that app but it's fully working as you can see advertised already okay let's close that you can you've got top, top ring tones top by generous top video tones and stuff like that so basically you can find the tone which you like they got the most popular tones and stuff like that and later on you just go to manage tones all the tones which you download you can manage them here and you can set them for ringtone or you can set them as uh, text message basically all the let i show you let's say top ringtones you can see all of them let's say i click the, the first better one so simple as that just add to ringtones when you press that you will see advertise after the advertise is gone just go back and lead tones and go to manage ring manage tone simple as that all the tones which you download they'll be there and you can just simply listen to them or you can advertise uh, set them as ringtone or text message very nice very nice tweak because you don't have to pay for for ringtones in itunes you can just get them here for free of charge just annoying advertisement but works perfectly um Another amazing tweak which I would like to show you, probably most of you was waiting for that. Um, when I had a iOS 6 jailbroken, I always used the SB settings because I used to love um, all the toggles which allows you to... Um, my favorite toggle was the 3G Wi-Fi location. So basically you were able, without going to settings and looking for the setting, you were able to simply swipe and turn off 3G. When, so basically when I get home, when I connect to my Wi-Fi, I turn the 3G off, so save your battery life. And the same with location. If I don't use my satna for anything like that, I just disable the location. So the tweak is called Flip Control Center. As you can probably realize, when you swipe from the bottom, the flip control center is basically that. And that app, the flip control center, allows you to add your own settings on the top. As you can see, I add 3G, rest spring, location, and a few other bits. Simple as that. After you install the app, just go to settings, and you will find that flip control center. Simple as that. One of the best app. Mm -hmm. Just simple activate switches and stuff like that. Simple as that. You can use them anywhere, even on lock screen, as you can see my lock screen here. That's it. All the icons. If you want to enable 3G, just press on that. It will enable your 3G. If you want to disable it, just disable it like that. Simple as that. It's a it's very good tweak because it saves your battery life. Okay, another tweak, uh, which is very popular before, is 5-icon dock. As you can see, my, my dock have 5-icon. That's very simple. It's just called 5-icon dock. So basically, go to search in CD, type 5-icon dock, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just press that, and uh, it will do everything for you. Another tweak is called 5-column springboard, which you can... Which you can see, I've got the five columns on my springboard as well. Which I always use that tweak because I quite kind of like it, and give you more possibility to to set the springboard to arrange as you liked. Simple as that. Um, 
and the last tweak which I would like to show is a very simple tweak basically I find that annoying when you open the folder and let's say if I want to open a Twitter when I open the Twitter and when I quit the application the folder is still open so the application tweak for that is called folder closer which uh, it was very popular on iOS 6 but it works with iOS 7 as well so when I quit now my folder is closed as you can see I don't have to close the folder to use any other apps it's just closed automatically which is quite nice okay folks just um, that was the 18 the most my favorite tweaks I hope one of them will, will suit you um, just let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, please follow me on Twitter my Twitter nickname is Simon and iPhone simple as that so just please follow me for any other videos and um, like I said add all the sources you can find them in the description and all the tweaks which I showed you today they are in the um, in the description as well okay folks thank you very much thanks for watching and uh, just please subscribe Android Tech Master